So let's modify our XAML. Let's let's put this uh, properties in properties namespace with the with our namespace VPF localized dot properties. And let's modify the string value for our title. Let's just call it X static product properties resources dot windows title. So let's make our XAML look like this. We loaded we added a couple labels with the names that, that match the names within our uh, our resource files. We have last name, first name, address, and button submit. And the window title. And because we, at the beginning, in the app config file, we set the culture to be uh, Chinese, We'll run it and we expect to see Chinese. There you go. Now let's go into our app config and let's change it to be German. And now we'll expect it to use our German resource file and see the German language. And then lastly, let's change it to be U.S. English. And run it. In part three, we're going to create an ASP.NET website and localize it using resource files. And we're going to create an ASP.NET website. We're going to add three resource files in English, German, and Chinese. And then we're going to modify the default.aspx file and modify the, the default language using Internet Explorer. So in Visual Studio Web Developer, let's create a new website. An empty website. Let's call it ASP Localize. And let's add a new item, web form, let's call it default.aspx. The first thing we want to do is we want to add an ASP.NET folder, the app local resources, to our project. And then let's add a resource file to that. Add new item, resource file. I'm going to call it def default dot ASPX dot resource. Modify your default.aspx.resource.resx file to look like this and save it and close it. Next, let's add our English resource file. Right click, add new item, resource. Let's call it default.aspx.en us.resx So I've decided to make uh, our default language to, to be English. So the default.aspx.resx file will look exactly like the default.aspx.en-us.resx file. So we'll save it and close it. Let's add our German file. Right click add new resource let's call it default.aspx.de slash dash de so make your default.aspx.de dash de dot resx file look like this and save it close it And let's add our Chinese resource file. Add new item, resource. We'll call it default. 
www.aspx.zh-cn. So modify the file to look like this, and then save it, and close it. Now in our default.aspx file, let's add this code. Basically, culture equals auto, meta, resource key, page resource one, and UI culture equal auto. So let's add our labels and our text boxes and our buttons to the ASP ASPX file. And you'll see in here that I just have a table with some cell with rows and cells. And the important part is this meta resource key. Make sure that these are the names that exist within your resource uh, files. So let's run it. Because my browser is set uh, default as English, I get the uh, English. But in order, if when a user from an, from another country has Internet Explorer installed, uh, whatever their their language setting is, they will get that uh, specific uh, uh, resource file. So let's put German at the top. Click OK. And I'll push F5 to refresh, and I get the German. Let's go Tools, Internet Options again, and then Languages, and we'll make Chinese first. And, le and let's refresh. In conclusion, we, we localized a WPF application and an ASP.NET program in C Sharp. I discussed a couple short reasons of why we should localize. We created a WPF project and localized it using resource files. And we created an ASP.NET website and localized it using resource files.